Hi, and welcome to this video that will explain the updates to Communicator 5.3's scanning feature for switch scanning based Windows control. We have now updated this to have better contrast so that it works better in darker backgrounds, and we've also updated the icons and the styling. In order to use the scanning feature, we first have to make sure that the input method is selected as switch scanning. When we have done so, we can then navigate to one of the links on our homepage to launch an external file, program or web activity. The crosshair scan is a horizontal scanning method and you can see here that the black line is quite prominent. These two black lines actually have a white line in between which you can imagine would work well on darker backgrounds. So here we are using the left click in order to place these um, musical notes down on the screen and you will see in a second that we're going to move on and use one of the different mouse clicks which has got quite a lot of useful functions. So here instead of using the left click when the crosshair scan comes down we are going to use the click and drag option instead. Now you can see here that we're going to click and drag between slow and fast paced for this clip but we could also use that for other items such as changing the volume of different clips or audio. So now let's look at how the increased contrast looks on a darker background. The first thing we're going to do here is select the radar scan just to show the difference between the radar and the crosshair and you'll see that the radar comes around in a circular motion compared to the crosshair that works horizontally. Now you can see that the white part of the scan is very emphasized because of the black background to hopefully show that no matter what colour of the background we have, it should be a lot easier to use this scanning function. An additional way that we can access the features of scanning is by launching one of the Windows keyboards. And you can see that when we've got a Windows keyboard open here, we've got the option to select Windows Control in the bottom row, and that will then launch the scanning capabilities in an additional way. The last thing we should go over here is showing how the settings for scanning can be altered and adjusted. And we do that by going to switch base mouse emulation. From here we can change the scanning speed for both radar and crosshair scans. We can change the type of scans available and we can also change the line thickness and button size. So lots of different options to help you make it personalised for you.